I came by this past weekend and we saw that there, the gates were locked. First on Fox, the tiny homes built in downtown St. Louis to house the homeless were supposed to start welcoming residents by December 1st. Now this is a live look at the tiny homes encampment. So are they filled or how are things working out? All new at 10 Fox News, Catherine Hessel talks with city leaders and a minister who's been keeping an eye on things. 50 tiny homes now sit on a lot that used to be an RV park on North Jefferson. Mark Bonnie and his wife were excited when they heard about this project. About a year ago, they started a ministry called the Hands and Feet of Jesus. And we are involved in getting out there and actually dealing with the individuals that are on the street, not necessarily in the big camps and other things. Initially, Mayor Lida Krusen said she wanted to start welcoming people into the tiny home village December 1st. Mark would regularly check on the progress of the village. It's like watching our own home being built almost. Uh, we're just so excited for the various people that are out there and really need this. The homes were moved in the first week of December. Mark says the village looked vacant and the maiden building with the showers looked like it was still boarded up. Disappointing to see with the tremendous need out there, especially this time of year. If it was in mid-July, we'd have a better situation. But with temperatures dropping below 20s now at night, it's very concerning to see all of this money that's obviously been spent, but yet isn't benefiting anyone who needs it. A spokesperson for Mayor Krusen says that the village isn't vacant. Some of the homes have been occupied for about a month. They say moving people in is a gradual process that requires screening potential residents to see if they'll succeed in the environment. The mayor's office is working with a provider and the Department of Human Services to fill the space. I didn't hear back from them on how many of the 50 homes are currently occupied. Mark says he would love to see the village busy and thriving with even more homes added. And he would like to learn more from the city about the submission process. I'm hoping that outreach groups are going to have a way to get people into the program. It sounds like a wonderful program that's going to go on for several months with uh, monitoring and uh, coaches for these people. And uh, I'm anxious to find out how we can get people in here. Reporting, I'm Katherine Hessel.